Treating mental health through music therapy that has proven to be beneficial for those suffering from addiction and trauma. Now, a well-known Philly native is using his own experience with pain to help support creative recovery for others. Saute those onions, baby. Grill up the meat. A name synonymous with Philly cheesesteaks, a hit show on Food Network, a booming restaurant business, and then a moment that would change the course of his life. On March 27th, 2017, I got the phone call that no parent ever wants to get that Tony had died. And then at that point, I just wanted to die. And the pain was constant, nonstop. All I wanted to do was stop the pain that I was in. And then I got it. Like, I really understood people that are suffering from addiction, either through trauma or mental health, they're not getting high. They just need to stop the pain, so they self-medicate. His eldest son, Tony, died of a drug overdose. He was 35 years old. Among the first graduating class of the School of Creative and Performing Arts, Luke's passion had always been music. So he turned back to his keyboard, channeling his sadness into song. It was almost like the pain that was coming from inside of me was going through my body, into my hands, into the keyboard, and then that sound that was coming out was my pain screaming. And I felt a little bit better. A new day is inside. Using music as therapy, Luke began composing, writing what would become After Midnight, a song about holding on for one more day. After midnight. The song really spoke to me because I've gone through my own mental health issues and I've watched a lot of my friends and just people I know go through things like this. At 17, Ryan Brown has struggled with her mental health. Like Luke, the high schooler uses music to help her stay centered. His lyrics and her voice send a powerful message. The song talks about how bad it's gotten. It talks from addiction to school shootings to just generalized anxiety and depression. And I've always been an advocate for mental health and I've always thought it was very important that people know that it's real and that people who are feeling these things aren't alone. So I really wanted to deliver that message. The whole song is about you can break the cycle, you can start a new day, you can begin a new life. That it doesn't always have to be so bad. I knew that my purpose now in life was to write music that would make people feel differently, that would make them understand that they're not alone in their pain, that they would take a look at the world, not like this, but like this, and it saved my life. After Midnight is the latest song released by SMN Records, a label Luke created with record producer Joe Niccolo through their Sound Mind Network, a nonprofit that supports groups using music and art therapy to treat those battling mental health trauma and addiction. Um, so far, well, we have the Bacon Brothers, we have Cindy Lauper, we have Sophie B. Hawkins, Taj Mahal, Joan Osborne, G Love. Just to name a few, and uh, soon uh, Billy Joel. I'd like to see Sound My Network both be a label that signs people who want to expand our message, but more importantly, uh, have people who that can work through their grief by creating music the way Tony did. Luke says his goal is for the record industry to recognize an entire genre of music about mental health. So people in recovery understand their value and their worth and people that are struggling with mental health and trauma know they don't have to hide it and they can turn that pain into something creative to help other people get through that journey as well and not go around it, go through it. We can change the narrative, but we need everyone's help to do that. Her voice is just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Proceeds from music produced through SMN Records will go right back to the Sound Mind Network and will support organizations that are using music and art therapy to help people dealing with mental health and addiction. And for more information, they have several events coming up. Just go to our webpage, cbsphiladelphia.com. Ryan, Tony, Joe. Wow. I mean,
just that was incredible. Something. The Perfect. power of music just goes a long way toward healing on so many levels. It's so, so many levels. You know, we sit here and we think of everything that we talk about during the day, and mm -hmm. then you imagine what teenagers are doing and how they're right. processing it. And for Ryan to to be as mature as she is, right. she's going to do really incredible things. So thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you all. You all. Yeah, exactly. Yeah.